What's up guys, Shane Starnes here, and if you do a lot of international traveling like me, then you know just how important it is to have a reliable data connection once you get feet on ground in another country. I travel to Mexico at least once a year with my family, and every other year we go on a mission trip with the church to somewhere normally in Central America, and one of the first things you have to do is go searching for a SIM card so that you have a data connection. Having a data connection is essential. You'll be able to do things like translate if you're not familiar with that country native language, you'll still be able to communicate with the people of that nation. You're also able to download maps for Google Maps so that you can find directions to any places of interest or any place that you need to be. For me, the most important part of having that data connection is being able to connect with family members back home. Depending on where you're traveling, there's just not always going to be a solid Wi-Fi connection, so it's always great to have that data connection from a SIM card. Some of the newer devices like the iPhone XS and iPhone XR have eSIM support, so you don't actually have to go out and purchase a physical SIM when you find yourself in an international country. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the data packages available through GigSky. Big shout outs to GigSky for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. If your phone does have eSIM support, you can simply buy a data package from the GigSky application. If you don't have a phone with eSIM support, you'll need to go to their website. I'll include a link in the description and purchase a SIM card ahead of time. So before you actually leave on your trip, that way you'll have it and you'll be able to use it once you get to that country. In order to set up your eSIM, all you have to do is download the GigSky application. You'll see that my iPhone's eSIM is pulled up here. We're looking at North America plans here. That includes Canada, Mexico, Puerto Rico, US Virgin Islands, and the United States. You can actually change the destination. There is support for over 190 countries. So really, no matter where you're heading, chances are you'll be able to find a plan for that particular region. Later this year, my family will actually be heading to Costa Rica. So we can take a look at the Costa Rica packages. Here we have a 30 day plan. It's five gigabytes for $50. If you were to buy an international data plan through your carrier, it's going to be pretty expensive. And if you just go to that country and use the phone while roaming, you're talking about thousands and thousands of dollars for just a tiny bit of data. So here you've got five gigabytes. A lot of people would never even use that much in a week stay, especially just doing simple things like email and doing simple things like translating and Google Maps. We will go ahead and buy this plan. And then it's going to walk me through the entire process of installing this plan. So you will now be taken through a few steps to install, label, and activate a cellular data plan. Set the custom label as GigSky Plan 4 for the secondary. Select cellular data only for the default line if prompted. So we'll go ahead and copy the label and proceed. It says label copy to clipboard. We'll continue. We'll add the cellular plan. This is the update was completed. Your iPhone was updated successfully. There are just a few more steps to follow. So we'll go ahead and continue. As you can see, we're already showing a data signal. Once you sign into your Apple account, it will go ahead and activate your new eSIM. If we slide down our notification panel, you'll see that the GigSky plan is activated and you'll see that LTE is enabled. You can go back to the application to keep track of your account. So it shows you what plans are activated. So here I've got my five gigabyte 30 day plan and it shows the countries where it is usable and it has many more countries than just Costa Rica. And it shows that I have uh, five gigabytes and 30 days remaining. So this will update and tell you just how much data you have left. If you find that you're running out of data, they have top up options so that you can continue to surf the internet while you're out of the country. So just to test the service here, I went on ahead and bought a North American plan. I just did the 500 megabytes for 30 days. If we open it up here, you can see that we are surfing. I'll go ahead and do just a quick speed test on fast.com to see what kind of speeds we're running. So downstairs in the basement, I was able to get about one meg. If I go upstairs, I get a little bit better reception and I'm getting two meg, which is very respectable here. I'm not really sure what kind of speed you can get internationally since I haven't traveled with this package yet. But overall, this seems to be a simple, fast and easy way to get data connection on your phone whenever you hit the ground in a foreign country. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can purchase a package for your phone today. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.